Well, here we are again at the House of Chuckles, and today I hope I have something that you'll like as much as I do. Uh, I'm doing a review on a mask, and this is from a movie uh, from 1982, and it was Creep Show by George Romero and Stephen King, and uh, Tom Savini did the makeup for. Well, I think he did it for all the all the everything that was in there. Um, there was quite a few different creatures and and whatnot, and it's if you haven't seen the movie, I strongly suggest it. It for a lot of people, it is like one of their best, uh, you know, top ten horror movies. So uh, it was really good. Anyhow, this is of Nate. Nate was the zombie in Creep Show. Now if you're familiar with masks, Nate's been done a couple times. Uh, in the early 80s he was released by at least two to three different uh, companies. It was uh, Distortions Unlimited, Death Studios, and Top Stone, um, all in the early 80s. And I, I, I know of two of them, um, but while doing research it, it showed that there was a third, but um, I'm not absolutely positive on that. But uh, I have seen the other two, and they were both made from the original mold. Uh, the only problem with that is the mask itself was small. Um, I did try one of them on back in the 80s, and you know back then I was a, a little bit smaller <laughs> and it was it was tight uh, but it was a great mask you know I mean I just Nate I mean you know uh, you know along with the others like Fluffy Fluffy is is the Tasmanian devil that was in the crate under the stairs if you're familiar with the movie and uh, uh, yeah, anyways, my mind was wandering back. Uh, just a little short story. Back in the 80s, I actually sculpted Nate, and I was going to make my own mask, but uh, never did quite finish it. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm sorry, not Nate, but Fluffy. Uh, anyways, this one here is, is made by Trick or Treat Studios. It is licensed, and it was hand sculpted by uh, Justin Mabry, and it was put out in 2018. Uh, the one thing about this one being hand sculpted is it's bigger. It, it'll fit most people. Um, all the masks that I've seen of Nate, they all have the chest piece, um, the shoulders, and you can see in the back. This has got a slit up about the mid, of, mid back of the head, which makes it easy on, easy off. And the only markings on it is actually where it just on the back it actually says sculpted by Justin Mabry. And uh, what else? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try this on. And I haven't tried it on yet. I'll try it on and see how it fits and, and give you a description of that. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's go ahead and try it on. Uh, a couple things about the mask is that uh, it's about... Oh, I would say about an eighth inch thick latex. So it's uh, about the size of about the size of a quarter. And the hair is glued on. It's uh, uh, hair fibers. And it's got some really great details. I, you know, I'm going to point out a couple other things before I try it on. The mouth hole is actually under the teeth and I'll put my fingers up in there and so you can see it a little bit better uh, which is really cool because then you don't you don't see the hole you don't see your mouth moving if you've got it on and if there's any you know if somebody takes a flash picture you don't see the person under the mask the nose holes same thing they're actually tucked under the nose bone there so let me put my fingers there and I'll turn it around. I mean, they really put a lot of thought into this. I don't think you're going to be able to see it too well. Uh, can you see my fingers up in there? 
the white. So yeah, I mean, they, they put a lot of thought into this as far as, so the only thing that if somebody was to take a flash photography of this, you know, with their cell phone or anything, the only real place that they would see anything is the eye holes, and they're so small that it's not going to make much difference, you know. So, it's amazing. Um, they got little things on there like little worms coming out of the nose and up here by the eye. Little backstory, if I remember correctly, when Tom Savini did this, he used um, rice, uh, rice crisp, yeah, rice krispies um, on the mask uh, for maggots, and it actually he threw dirt on it and whatnot, you know, to add uh, more of a realistic effect. So, well, let's go ahead and try it on. I'm gonna. I actually wore a shirt that's got a collar. And so I'm going to actually tuck it in so you can see what it looks like, um, where you can see the bones and whatnot. So let's give this a try and see how she's going to fit. Well, there is lots of room, and my face is pushed up against the, the front. Um, I can't see too well in the screen to see what you guys see, because, well, I wear glasses. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, what do you think? Mask hair, <laughs> mask head. Yeah, I couldn't see in the screen what you guys could see, but hopefully that looked good. We'll go back and look at it when I get ready to upload the video. Um, it it uh, even with with the the air holes, and maybe it was just because it's it's such a big piece. It did seem a little stuffy. So if you're claustrophobic or whatnot, this you know may not be a mask you'd want to wear around uh, chasing, you know, like at a haunt or something like that. I mean, you could always cut, you know, bigger holes, but God, I hate I hate ruining a mask. Um, I mean, it doesn't ruin it, but you know, I I'm more on the collecting side. I always just they're they're so amazing. I've had a fascination for masks for many, many years. Oh, I just noticed it does have ear holes as well. Tiny ones, but can you see it right there? Yeah, another one on the other side. They're, they're small, but so you got some ear holes. But um, as far as, as space, now I've kind of got a bigger head. As far as space, it, it was, you know, I mean, it, it wasn't like totally smashing me so I mean it, it did have quite a bit of room in there uh, not like not like the original ones in the 80s because you know like I say I mean I probably wouldn't even be able to put one of those on uh, you know today I, I don't even think I'd be able to get it on my head uh, they were they were kind of small but uh, anyhow that's that's it for the review that I have at the moment I am going to uh, add in some close-up shots of him uh, so you know stay tuned for a second you can watch the close-up shots you guys have a great day we'll see you soon oh I should have mentioned <laughs> that was kind of bad um, so I will put links wherever they're at on your screen I will put links of possible places where you can pick Nate up and as always you know please like share and leave comments you know I'll, I'll get to them as quick as I can I, I normally try to get to them within a day or two so if you have comments and uh, that need replying to I'll, I'll reply back to you so hey I appreciate it guys have a great one we'll see ya